In books are knowledge news. Oh. oh, that's news. Even the phone book. Read a book, bitch. Read a book. Remember that song, Lil John? That show's dope. Submitted by Canada Loves JK. Oh, we thank you. We love Canada. We love you too, land of Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> Hunger Games helped a 12 year old girl save her friend while playing outside. What? How oh, shit, a she... bone arrow. Oh. oh. I thought she was going to volunteer as tribute. Oh. <laughs> So this girl, she's playing with her friends in this thing called a marsh. Do you guys know what yeah. a marsh is? I know, cause I don't know that. That's what I'm saying. Go. Is it like a swampy? Yeah, yeah it looks like area. this. It's a wetland. Yep. It's like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. There's no mosquitoes there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Megan, this 12-year-old, she's the one that used her knowledge from the Hunger Games to help her friend who got a 10-inch long, 3-inch wide gash in her leg. Oh my Holy God. shit. By playing in the, in the marsh. So How apparently, did she get that? So apparently, like, uh, the group of girls, they were all playing in the mud, but then one of them had said that they left their shoes, like, were in the higher ground, and so when this girl, she went over to get it, she ended up slipping, and she, like, got cut with this piece of metal that was, like, somewhere in the... Ooh, what if it's all rusty? Yeah. I hope she got her tennis shots. It's, like, this big. Oh, yeah, three inches by ten inches. Just, this is, like, this how big it is, like, the side of this. So then Megan, she was able to uh, grab something to, like, make create like a tourniquet and that's what she had learned. She got popsicle sticks? No, she got um, like a piece of clothing and then she was able to to get... Just wrap it? <laughs> yeah, to wrap it. <laughs> oh, and then she applied a lot of pressure so when... Yeah, to stop the bleeding or like, like to reduce the bleeding. Oh, that's dope. That's cool we can learn through entertainment. I like mm -hmm. that. Ah, that's so true. So yeah, these are the girls. I watched so much Baywatch growing up and I was like, that's how you see PR. Wait, who's... Wait, how so, old are they? So this is Megan, 12. This is Megan. 12? Oh my god, she's a linebacker. That's crazy. <laughs> they do not look like 12. Nah, they look like high school girls. Yeah, 12 yeah. well. Dude, she looked like she could throw down, dude. That's tight. But luckily, she was able to save her friend from bleeding out. That's dope. Gosh. Oh man, That's really cool. too bad the shows I be watching lately, they only know, they only teach you how to kill, they don't teach you how to save. So I, I don't know. know nothing, man. <laughs> or maybe if you get caught for murder, you could like reference the book. Or you know what, I do know one thing though, if you get hit with an arrow, just leave that shit, just break the arrow, don't pull it out, yeah, break the bleed arrow. Out to death. Yeah, yeah, just break the arrow off, throw away the, the quiver part, or mm -hmm. whatever, the, the, the end part, and then just leave it in you, until you go to the hospital or something. I want to learn how to shoot an arrow like Lars Anderson. Who's oh, Lars Anderson? The guy that holds the arrows in his hands while he goes ta 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 I think he could shoot, I believe it was like, it was a ridiculous number, like seven arrows in a second. Lars has managed to shoot three arrows in 0 0.6 seconds. He could oh. backflip while second. shooting an arrow like, and hit a target. Like oh my god. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. That's a fucking real life ninja. Yeah, yep. he's, he's been studying for years though. It's not something that he got in like a year, it was like, like probably, I don't know, like five or seven years or whatever. He probably doesn't have a girlfriend. But oh, now he, he probably like he has a lot. Have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's the goal. You know, guys, they learn a lot of skills because, you know, they don't have time and they don't have good looks or whatever. And then they become really skillful and then they get a girlfriend. Yeah, just look up Lars Anderson yep. and you'll see this guy just whoop ass with the fucking bow and arrow. Now, mind you, he looks like he's never seen daylight or a human being. But I'll tell you this right now, he'll fuck your ass up with a bow and arrow. Yep. I think out of all the weapons, I, I think I would want to master like a sword or something. Something you can use multiple times. Because then an arrow, a bow and arrow, it's like cool, but, but the then cool you thing run about out of arrows. The bow and arrow is, is the fact oh, that yeah. if, it, it, the, if it hits you, it hits you. You know what I mean? Like this, like somebody could dodge. But look how fast that is. And he proved that bow and arrow, like archers, they were uh, good at close combat too. So if you have it right here, he could actually shoot you point blank, like in like half a second. That's sick. I like bow and arrow because you don't really have to do much physical I know, work. I know I'm going to get you for Mother's Day next year. What is it? Uh, three haystacks, the target, yeah. and then bow and arrow. Finally, I've been, want I've been wanting a crossbow forever, and you I'm gave a, me no, a gun. No, this is way better. Oh, crossbow is even better. You don't even have to extend your arm. But there's no skill involved, so that's worth it. I'm going to give you bow an Bow and arrows are better than crossbows yep. because the reloading thing is too slow. Yep. Fine, you should have given me a bow and arrow instead of a stupid gun. I'm going to give you a bow and arrow. I never use. Oh my god, if you killed an intruder with a bow and arrow, that's so fucking gangster. Isn't it badass? So gangster. Because like, you can see where you hit them too, it just sticks out like a flag. 
Oh wow. <laughs> you die pretty good. Oh, uh, thank you. It's my skill. And it just looks hot. I know you just said it wasn't efficient to do this thing, but I want to do that thing because it looks fucking badass. This yeah, is dumb. Like, it's like you leave your whole torso exposed. Get me. <laughs> you know, just. Oh, yeah. But in my yeah. scenario. In the movie, they know where it's at. But in real life, you're like. <laughs> exactly. Wait, don't they have like a little satchel thing? They put it on their side? Yeah, but it's like a straw when you're just like. <laughs> and it's like in the back, you're you're just like, got it. Yeah. It's I want to cool. imagine it's 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 better than that. Yeah, but it was pretty cool though. So when Megan she sprang into action, they're saying that she acted like a trained EMT because then she immediately ordered like one of her friends like, you go get help. You give me the shorts. You and then like she was just giving. Them That's dope. That's yeah. sick. I wonder if I would have listened to her at that age. You wow. have to. What would you, you do? do? You don't know what to no, do. Like, if that happened and my friend who clearly isn't trained herself, she goes, <laughs> you did like, shut the fuck up. I know what I'm doing. I run away. <laughs> and not help. There's a big ass gash on her friend though. I, I think I'd be like, I'm telling the teacher. Mm. Or if there's no teacher, I'm telling what my mom. What I would mom. do is I would take the mud and I would put it into the wound. That's what Joe uh, would do. Probably. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> probably <Yeah>. right. <laughs> Do you get squeamish with like people's injuries? And stuff? Yes, definitely. You don't think you'd be able to spring into action like this? Well, I think if someone's injured and if you know what to do, you just gotta do it. So. <laughs> I'd yeah. tie her leg up and cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> like the moment you see the wound, you're like, you know what? It's too late. Let <laughs> <I> go. <laughs> <laughs> a mosquito by chop it off. <laughs> I saw this on Walking Dead. We don't, we don't have much time. I take off the shirt, fucking wrap around the arm, and wait, it's just, no. it's just a broken wrist. No. Imagine if uh, young Joe was part like of one of the kids in Lord of the Flies. How fucked up everything would really be. I'm pretty sure if Joe was in Lord of the Flies, that book would have ended in three pages. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody's dead, <laughs> you know. It's just Joe with fucking blood yeah. stripes on <laughs> You're already eating people on the first day. <laughs> I love that book. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I got hungry! <laughs> What's the craziest injury you guys seen? In person. Seen? Oh, I haven't seen oh, any. I assisted in a surgery. <gasps> no, I mean an injury though. Like oh, yeah. like in real life or no, at the not, mall. Not that. But that's a controlled setting. It is, yeah. No, but that dude, his he a refrigerator fell on his middle finger, uh, so his entire finger was like burst it open. It was Ew. Fuck. I, I haven't seen anything. I was a kid and I was in my dad's uh, car and we were driving and we went past like a car accident scene and I th I'm pretty sure what I saw was a guy laying on the floor with a pool of blood around him. That's pretty traumatizing. Yeah, that is wow. traumatizing. Yeah, the probably the craziest injury was car accidents. Like you know, when you drive, I'm not yeah. there, but I, I drop, drive by, and then you see like the people all bloody. On the 110, there was a dude. He, uh, I don't know what happened per se, but fucking his shirt here was all bloody, and you just see his whole arm is just fucking red. So I don't know what happened to the dude, but this arm was not moving. And I'm a hundred percent sure after the adrenaline's gone, he's gonna start screaming. I remember some crazy shit I saw. So Casey, Isaac, and I, we all went to. Knott's Berry Farm, and we were waiting in line for this one ride. I forgot which ride it was. The way the line is set up, like we have to go up these stairs, and then you can see the ride, right? We were climbing up the stairs, and so we were trying to peek over the wall to see what the commotion was about. Mm -hmm. And I saw this little kid, he looked maybe like about six or seven years old, and his foot was jammed between the car and like the, the side no. of where the. No. Ugh. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the the actual car and the rail. That's where his foot was. How did his foot get in there? So apparently this kid, when they were about to stop, because he already did the whole uh. ride, and when he was coming in to stop, he stuck his foot out. I don't know why, but he stuck his foot out, and that's when it got caught. And so I saw when they were taking this little boy out that his entire sock was drenched uh. in blood. Oh my god, did it get I crushed? Have, I have goosebumps mm. right Ooh, now. That's like, so I, nasty. I, I, like, yeah, I can visualize all of that. What's the military base in near San Diego? Camp Hamilton? Yeah, so for some reason, there was a dude. Oh man, I got a kernel stuck in my teeth. Kernel stuck, stuck in my teeth? teeth. <laughs> Please, I hate you. Stop. Long story short, guy ran into the middle of the freeway. Out of fucking nowhere. And it was a it was a military cat, maybe from Pendleton, if that's the military base that was there. And the guy just ran in the middle of the freeway. Like, into the middle of the freeway, and my cousin ran him over. <gasps> 
Yeah, and just the guy died like immediately. Oh, yeah, so he was, like, fuck. blood everywhere, and like the kid that was oh. in the car too was like shaking because he was so traumatized. Dude, that's crazy. Wait, same thing. Well, not wow. the same thing, but similar thing happened to my cousin in Mexico. This homeless guy, he walked right into. He saw my cousin's car coming, and this one like curve near the border. It's like everyone goes really fast in that curve. Mm. And he just saw like my cousin coming and then he walked, like, he ran in front of her car. He wanted to die? He wanted to okay. die. And then uh -huh. so like she, like her car ended up hitting him. There was blood all over the car. The ambulance took the guy away and then she wanted to find out if he was dead or like what happened. But apparently the ambulance said, we don't know the guy, this guy's body just disappeared. So we're thinking like what? they were using his body for some other stuff, but. Maybe he was a superhero. And what happened was, he's like a cat. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you guys have any juicy little gossip details and you guys want to submit it, well, guess what? You can. Cruise on over to the description box below, click on the link, submit the story, and hopefully we will pick it and talk about it. For more videos, click right over here.